Kensington Palace has been hugely significant for royal babies and, and sort of members of the royal family setting up home there. You can imagine that the protocol surrounding the naming of um, a royal baby is uh, considerable. There's no such thing as a sort of random or impulsive choice when it comes to naming a royal baby. So there's a long tradition of naming kings in particular after their father. So that's why you sort of get a spate of Edwards or, or Henrys. And so uh, the braver monarchs would recall even earlier times. So Arthur was quite a popular name, sort of the legends of King Arthur being something that they like to promote as part of their own ancestry. Probably the most unusual royal name uh, was Victoria. Princess Victoria's christening at Kensington Palace was a difficult day um, for everybody because um, the King George IV had um, refused the, uh, Victoria's father, the Duke of Kent's application, I suppose, to name the baby Victoire after her mother, the Duchess of Kent. George IV decided that Victoire wasn't an appropriate name for the baby and that she should be named after the Tsar and so that Alexandrina should be her name. When it came to that moment that the baby's name should be announced, the king said Alexandrina. The Duke of Kent then said Elizabeth should be her second name and the king said no, it should be Victoria. The Princess Victoria, as we now know her, um, was actually named Alexandrina um, through her childhood and until she was a couple of years old, um, was referred to by the family as Drina. But Victoria didn't like that name, so she took her second name, uh, Victoria, and that's how she became known throughout history. One of the most interesting stories about the choice of name involves Anne Boleyn, the notorious second wife of Henry VIII. Now there's a lot of controversy over Anne because nobody wanted her to be queen, she was seen as a usurper, and so when she gave birth she thought of ways in which she could kind of enhance the legitimacy of the baby. So what she did was she proposed stealing the name of uh, Mary, and Mary was Henry VIII's first daughter born to Catherine of Aragon. So Anne, Anne Boleyn thought, well, I'm going to just steal the name Mary because people will then think she's more of a valid princess. But, you know, there was so much controversy around that that in the end she was forced to concede and she chose Elizabeth instead. 